Typhoon at Mancut has made landfall in the Philippines as a Category 5 with winds of 175 miles an hour and a pressure estimated at 894 millibars. It's at 18 degrees north, 121.9 degrees east, and the storm blew up a convective burst as it was making landfall and intensified slightly a stage 10 on the CDPS scale and moving inland at this time causing untold destruction to the northern part of Luzon. It's 17 miles from Gataran, 30 from Apari, also 30 from Chugagaro, 87 from Laag City and 242 from the capital Manila. The storm is expected to move out into the South China Sea next, but still signal 4 warnings in effect for parts of northern Luzon, signal 3 as far as northern Aurora, signal 2 as far as northern Quezon, and signal 1 warnings for the rest of Luzon. You can find detailed warning information on Pegasus website. So, over the next few days the storm will move through, we expect that it will weaken at least some, but considering how powerful it did make landfall at, it could still be a Category 4 as it emerges off the coast into the South China Sea and could deliver Category 4 conditions to its next landfall point, which is going to be probably southern China, just west of Hong Kong and Macau. Hong Kong and Macau could see typhoon force winds, are possibly even stronger than just the bare minimum Category 1 force winds, and that will remain to be seen over the next few days. That is certainly a point of worry over there. Sea surface temperatures are very warm all the way through, around 28 or 29 degrees uh, off the edge of the left-hand side of the map there. And this is what we expect again over the next few days. The model's got this right in the end. Uh, we were originally looking that the storm was going further south than forecast, but now we're looking as to whether or not the storm might make a landfall very close to Hong Kong now. Uh, it is continuing to draw slightly closer in those latest forecasts, and the chances are sky high now for tropical storm conditions there, up to about 85% as the next graphic will show shortly. No other system developing behind Mankurt, one of our early up updates uh, did suggest that could be a possibility doesn't look like it anymore. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds in some of these locations. 86% in Basco, obviously it's occurring in the northern part of Luzon. 28 in Manila and now, as stated, 85 in Hong Kong and possibly as high as 90 or more along parts of the southern coast of China. So, a lot of these models here think that Mankuk will remain as Category 3 as it enters the South China Sea and could remain that intensity until its final landfall. Uh, wind shear is actually going to drop a little bit again, so that could give it some more room for strengthening. And uh, looking at the other parameters there, it's not looking too bad elsewhere either. So it is on for the potential for this storm to intensify further um, after it first weakens, of course, when it enters the South China Sea. Look at this beast. This is what we've been looking at for the last few hours. The storm made landfall at about 2.10 in the morning, Philippine local time. Um, and it was a stage 10 at landfall, one of very few examples of a storm making a landfall at such a destructive potential stage. Very similar to Haiyan in that way, it's actually larger than Haiyan, uh, and also um, it has a larger wind field as stated, but also it wasn't quite as strong as Haiyan, so it's not fully relatable, but this storm is a complete monster and it will continue. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. And Force13's live coverage continues on its live feed. You can check that out with the latest information at youtube.com forward slash force13 forward slash live.